Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25967. In this build, Microsoft is introducing quite a few interesting features inside the Canary channel. And in this video, we're going to try to cover them all. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is introducing the new settings homepage inside the Canary channel. And of course, I'm sure that most of you who watch Windows Insider videos, you know that the new homepage inside settings has some new cards with prominent corners that have basically the most used and recommended settings such as the display, power and battery, taskbar, cloud storage, Bluetooth devices, personalize your device, Microsoft 365 subscription management, and also Microsoft account management. Also, the Cortana app is removed after updating to this build and Microsoft officially ended the support for Cortana. Regarding quick settings, we have something pretty interesting here. Microsoft is trying out a scrollable view of quick settings to some Windows Insiders in the Canary channel as part of evaluating effectiveness of different layouts. As part of the change, rather than having to edit the list to add new quick actions, the user now has a scrollable list of quick actions that can be rearranged. I think this is pretty interesting and I think that this look is better because you can have more quick settings here and you can quickly access them inside the quick settings. Of course, this is not officially rolling out to all Insiders. Maybe I'm going to make a video in which I'll show you how to enable this. System components that were previously available in settings apps and installed apps page now have been moved to their own page under settings, system and then system components. Also optional features were moved into their own page in system and then optional features. So this is also a thing found by Phantom Ocean 3. And also if you go to the gaming section, you'll now have the option to access the Xbox game bar right here. Inside privacy and security and then location, Microsoft added a new toggle here, notify when apps request location. If you turn this off, you won't be notified if an app is blocked from accessing your location. Some apps might stop working as expected. This was found by Phantom Mission 3 on Twitter, so shout out to him. Regarding the Windows subsystem for Linux, the September 2023 update for the WSL has been rolled out and includes networking improvements in the latest Insider preview builds. Regarding the start menu, also the option to group recently installed apps inside the recommended section is being tried out in the Canary channel. And also as a hidden feature inside the Canary channel, Microsoft is trying out the faster hover snap layouts in the file explorer. So basically when you hover over the maximize button, the snap layouts will appear faster. And we also have a Microsoft Store update, which includes a visual refresh of Windows license pages. And basically they improve the look and feel of Windows license pages in the Microsoft Store to be consistent with Windows 11. The page provides comparison tables between Windows editions to help make it easier to choose what license is best for you. We also have some fixes in this build. Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing insiders to see bug checks green screens in recent Canary channel builds when shutting down, logging out, or restarting. They fixed a white flash when opening File Explorer in dark mode, as well as an issue where File Explorer could get stuck with the wrong colors after switching between light and dark mode. Fixed a few issues that were leading to Explorer.exe crashes. Fixed an issue where File Explorer sorting changes wouldn't persist in folders after you navigated away and back. Fixed an issue which was causing icons on the desktop to turn into white generic icons until you refresh the desktop. And they also did some work to help improve File Explorer performance, including fixing a memory leak which would impact performance over time and fixing an issue where the tab would get stuck with the loading icon even though loading was finished. And basically this is the build for the Canary channel. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Manny from TechBase until next time have a nice day.